Why is it important to tackle the problem of water scarcity? What will we face in the near future if this does not happen soon? What are the possible solutions for this challenge? The Mediterranean region is characterized by limited and irregular availability of water resources. Agriculture is still by far the greatest user of water in the Mediterranean basin, accounting for more than 80% of the total consumption. Climate change and drought events, in a context where water consumption in some places already exceeds the depletion of renewable water resources, will make the region even more vulnerable in the near future. The project Fit for Reuse aims at providing safe, sustainable and accepted ways of water supply for the Mediterranean Basin by exploiting non-conventional water resources through innovative treatment technologies on the use of treated wastewater and desalinated water in agriculture and for aquifer recharge, adapted to the Mediterranean context and fulfilling legislative frame and market demands. Reclaimed water and desalinated water contribute to compensate the gap between agricultural water demand and supply and provide consistently high quality water throughout the year. Fit for reuse technologies are developed in cooperation with stakeholders of the Mediterranean region and target practitioners, public administration, constructing companies and water operators through a concise business model, providing guidelines for practitioners and performing a holistic assessment of the use of non-conventional water resources to improve its public and legal acceptance. The project Fit for Reuse is part of the PRIMA programme, supported under Horizon 2020, the European Union's framework for research and innovation. It counts on nine partners across seven Mediterranean countries, consisting of universities, governmental organisations, water utilities and SMEs. Particularly, the project concentrates on the development of innovative, sustainable and competitive technologies for municipal wastewater treatment, desalination in brine treatment and disposal, simulation platform, irrigation, The goal of the pilot plant in Granarolo dell'Emilia, Italy, is to optimize and enhance nature-based solutions for domestic wastewater treatment in order to produce an effluent that is suitable for reuse in agricultural irrigation. The pilot plant is located in a small municipality of the metropolitan city of Bologna and it is intended for the secondary treatment of domestic wastewater through constructed wetland technology. It consists of 12 systems in total, 6 vertical flow constructed wetlands planted with Phragmites australis and 6 horizontal flow constructed wetlands planted with Iris pseudocorus. These systems will test contribution of different substrates to the treatment performance, also through their combination in series. Besides, researchers from the University of Bologna will test other operational parameters such as the effect of aeration, hydraulic loading rate and hydraulic retention time on the removal efficiencies of different contaminants present in wastewater. The pilot plant is fully automized and it will therefore allow a more complex monitoring, considerably increased reliability of results and reduce error probability. The objective of the Greek pilot plant is to produce reclaimed water suitable for irrigation, European Class B or even better, by combining innovative nature-based solutions with nanotechnology. The pilot plant is located in the decentralized municipality of Antissa on the island of Lesbos. It consists of a vertical downflow bioelectrified wetland followed by a conventional sand filter, a novel nano-zero valent iron column and an ultraviolet unit. 
The bioelectrified wetland is an innovative solution for wastewater treatment that combines the advantages of microbial electrochemical technology with those of constructed wetlands, thus providing a number of benefits such as significantly lower land requirements and the potential for energy harvesting. The novelty is that the materials commonly used for wetland construction, such as gravel and sand, are replaced by electrically conductive materials such as coke, graphite and biochar, that host electroactive bacteria. Accordingly, nano zero valent iron is a powerful reagent with high efficiency for a wide spectrum of contaminants, both organic and inorganic. Its versatility is due to the fact that it can remove or immobilize the contaminants through various mechanisms, such as reduction, adsorption, or even oxidation through Fenton type reactions. The integrated system has been set in operation and is routinely monitored in order to achieve optimum conditions, thus supporting the production of reclaimed water suitable for irrigation purposes. Low-cost and energy-saving experimental wastewater treatment pilots have been designed and implemented separately or as integrated systems in relevant environment and run with real wastewater at relatively high flows. The pilot plant using nature-based solutions as vertical and horizontal constructed wetlands for wastewater treatment is located in Wastewater Plant Treatment El Menza. Additional technologies will be combined and integrated in order to enhance the removal of pharmaceuticals, emerging pollutants and pathogens, and to recover nutrients and energy. Fixed bed adsorption using various inexpensive and natural adsorbates, clay, olive seed, date seed and perlite will be added before the discharge of wastewater in order to enhance the removal of pharmaceuticals and emerging pollutants, for example, bisphenol A and diclofenac. Ozone and UV irradiation technologies to remove pathogenic bacteria will also be assessed. A collection of plant growth promoting PGP bacteria was selected and will be integrated with constructed wetlands to remove micropollutants, diclofenac, bisphenol A. The Upflow Anaerobic Sludge Blanket Pilot, an anaerobic process for intensive wastewater treatment, is installed in wastewater treatment plant Shotrana. It is designed to be tested and started up with static biofilter as a pre-treatment stage for total suspended solids and chemical oxygen demand removal. It contains two tanks as conditioning tank and UASB reactor assembled as a closed loop system. The reactor is equipped with an electric heating system to adjust the anaerobic tank at the desired temperature. The treated wastewater is tested for field irrigation and preliminary results showed that plant growth was comparable to that attained when drinking water was used without any noticeable adverse effect on the plants or the soil. The integrated pilot system combining intensive and nature-based solutions for wastewater treatment is located in Imola. The pilot activities will be performed on an existing experimental platform recently built within an Italian national project. In this way, the platform will also be exploited for additional and specific studies related to the fit for reuse objectives. It can test different combinations of upflow anaerobic sludge blanket, anaerobic membrane bioreactor, molecularly imprinted polymers, single or hybrid constructed wetlands and ultraviolet disinfection unit. These combinations will be used for treatment of real domestic wastewater with an occasional discharge of industrial effluent and will aim to produce effluent that has a quality needed for irrigation of agricultural crops. Moreover, combining intensive and nature-based solutions is expected to reduce treatment costs, improve removal efficiencies and make wastewater treatment process more sustainable. Upflow anaerobic sludge blanket can use organic matter to produce biogas while constructed wetlands are low-cost technology able to further treat wastewater with low energy input. The pilot plant has a central control unit also accessible through an online platform, allowing everyday operation and monitoring of its functions. For example, flow rates, biogas production and other operative parameters can be constantly monitored.
Two pilot systems are operated by Mekorot at the Lahat Brackish Water Desalination Reverse Osmosis Plant within Fit for Reuse. The Lahat plant receives water from 24 different brackish water wells and is a part of a national rehabilitation project of the Israel's coastal aquifer. The plant includes pre-treatment stage of coarse and cartridge filtration, followed by two stages of reverse osmosis desalination. The pre-treatment design was done with a goal to preserve the reverse osmosis membranes and to prevent or slow down deposition of colloidal, organic and biological matter at the front of the pressure vessels. The general objective of both pilots is to improve the reverse osmosis pretreatment in an attempt to enhance the treatment performance, thus decrease energy and chemical consumption. Both pilots are monitored online, as well as daily, by field measurements and periodically by lab sampling. The first pilot, Micronic Cartridge Filters Pilot Skid, is used to investigate different cartridge technologies. The pilot consists of two identical branches that are operated in parallel. Each branch includes a cartridge filter followed by a reverse osmosis membrane. The objective is to characterize various innovative cartridge filters in order to find the best one for the Lahat plant. The second pilot, Reverse Osmosis Desalination Pilot Plant, is used to investigate the fouling reduction device technology. The pilot includes cartridge pretreatment followed by two stages of reverse osmosis desalination, simulating the commercial plant. Three fouling reduction devices are installed externally to the piping prior to the cartridge filtration or reverse osmosis stages. The fouling reduction devices transmit an electric field into the pipe and the water, with the objective to improve flocculation capability as well as prevent precipitation of salts, organic and or inorganic material and bacteria. The desalination pilot plant is located at Izbat. It consists of an innovative desalination system combining nanofiltration and reverse osmosis. The pretreatment module includes a 5, 10 and 20 micron cartridge filters, activated carbon column and injection of anti-scalant to remove impurities and prevent clogging. The hybrid system nanofiltration and reverse osmosis is expected to reduce energy requirements and improves the recovery rate of desalinated water. The brine was used to irrigate medicinal halophytes, salt-resistant plants. This will not only reduce the negative effect on the environment, but also contribute as an additional economic income to the system. Also, solar energy was considered to cover the energy needs of the desalination pilot. The amount of 30-35 kilowatts daily produced was found enough to operate the hybrid system membrane unit. Fit for Reuse simulation platform was designed to simulate simplified models of the Fit for Reuse solutions as a tool mainly for decision making, suitable to simulate different scenarios for different cases. It enables users to perform dynamic simulations of nature based and intensive resource recovery solutions regarding the choice of treatment options for different locations and wastewater sources around the Mediterranean region. The platform is capable of simulating single units as well as treatment trains with the innovative solutions of Fit for Reuse. It can be applied to continuously operated units with fluctuating pollutant inputs. The platform is also capable of calculating the reclaimed water quality, the energy costs and carbon emissions of each unit along the total system configuration, and therefore it is a powerful tool for possible energy savings and for preventing excessive carbon emission impacts. The Ruro demonstration platform is dedicated to water reclamation and reuse for agricultural crops irrigation. The objective of the platform is to test and to validate solutions for water reuse in rural conditions for domestic wastewater treatment plant with limited flow and load capacities. The platform is located in Saint-Jean-de-Corny 
a town with a population of 1,000 people near Montpellier on the Mediterranean coast of France. Sanitary, environmental and agronomic risks related to water reuse, such as micropollutants or salinity issues, need to be quantified, managed and controlled. Also, the benefits related to water reuse need to be demonstrated and quantified on the field. In Fit for Reuse, different types of flushing methods for drippers and different storage conditions are tested before irrigation of tomatoes and salads in controlled conditions. The tests carried out focus on irrigation management, aiming at answering the questions about the benefits of water reuse in terms of fertilization, how to deal with water quality evolution in open storage, and what are the best on-field solutions to limit drippers' clogging. Thanks to Fit for Reuse project, different treatment solutions are being developed and tested in the consortium countries. Application of treated non-conventional water resources for irrigation is being assessed and relevant stakeholders are being consulted and involved in order to get the most relevant results. Also, regulatory and social aspects are being taken into careful consideration as the applicable legislation and the public acceptance are crucial aspects of water reuse. Actions and results of Fit for Reuse will contribute to the challenge of closing the gap between water needs and water availability, one of the main issues of our times. Join our cause. Help us reuse to reduce.